Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Freya and Charlie here. Today's video is a what I ate in a week, uh, what we ate in a week kind of video, which is based on the food shop that we did in last Monday's video, which is our budget Aldi food shop. So make sure you go and watch that video, but not now. Finish this one, then go and watch that one afterwards. Or pause this. Or pause it yeah. and come back. <laughs> Instead of doing like a Monday through a Sunday kind of thing, we're gonna be breaking it down into each course of the day. So we're gonna show you all of our favorite breakfasts that we had, lunches and dinners, basically just because we try to cook things in batches. So we'll have multiple things and we'll eat them throughout the week. Yeah, so like, it's kind of like leftovers. We'll have dinner for lunch the next day or something like that. Exactly, so we could have done it every day, but you'd be seeing like us eating the same thing quite a few times, <laughs> which is a bit boring. For dinner, we have fajitas. For lunch, we have fajitas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we thought it would be more useful and interesting to kind of be like, these are all our breakfasts. Yeah. We mix and match throughout the week, um, and the same with lunches and dinners. Yes. And snacks. Can't forget the snacks. Can't forget the snacks. So usually our breakfasts are kind of on a rotation. So this week we kind of went between two or three different breakfasts. We had a green smoothie mix, which we were trying for the first time from Aldi. And then we did overnight oats, which is something that's like really common in our house. We make overnight oats all the time with all different sort of flavors and stuff. We do. And we bloody love the stuff. <laughs> and just some plain old lovely toast. Toast marmalade. Toast marmalade. Ultimate. This Paddington over here will have marmalade on <laughs> We made the BBC Good Foods vegan banana bread at the weekend. Mm. Um, I think it was like the most highest rated banana bread on Google. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, if you said the highest rated vegan yeah, banana bread. Yeah, vegan banana bread. Yeah, yeah. It was really good. It was pretty basic. I like a chocolate. Chip yes, we went with walnuts. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was really nice. So we had that with some peanut butter on and then we made a kind of very basic berry compote where we mm -hmm. use frozen berries, add a bit of sugar and water and then just let it all reduce down and then we topped our banana bread with that. And it was, it was it really was, good. Yeah, it was proper nice. The berry compote is something that we make all the time for stuff like porridge and things like that. Yeah, but it's it a went, topper. Like because, topper. yes, and I think it was really needed on the banana bread too. We found that by putting the peanut butter on the banana bread, it made the banana bread dry. drier than it would have otherwise Joy. been. So the, the, the compote that we made to go on top helped bring some of the moisture back to it, which yes. was necessary. It was. We bought the Aldi's green frozen smoothie mix, and we really should have added a banana to this smoothie. It really yeah. needed um, a bit of thickening yeah. bit of sweetness. It was a little bit watery, it was a little bit meh. Nah. I mean, I, it was fine. I prefer my smoothies more on the like milkshake spectrum. Yeah, of like, like protein, banana, peanut butter. Exactly. But we thought we'd try this and it was alright, but we only ended up having it once, which is why we had some random breakfasts like the toast because yeah. I was like, I'm not interested. She's not really into it. I think my favourite breakfast, probably the overnight oats. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a classic, you know it's going to be good. It's a cracker, it's a yeah. corker. It's so easy to make, like literally just the night before, oats and milk and then Yeah, stuff. and if you're really... It's good for like when you're in a rush. Yes. And you just need something that's like ready made to go out the door, or like just have really quickly or whatever. There are times where we've forgotten to make the overnight oats the night before. Mm. So it's been like over morning oats. Yeah. <laughs> They'll go in at like, I don't know, 8 a.m. and we'll have them at like 11. Yeah. Three hours is kind of enough, it is, it over, is overnight makes it much, much nicer. So for our lunches, as we said before, we like to have leftovers just because it saves us a lot of time on our lunch break, we're not cooking for ages. So we made a cauliflower soup once and we had that for two days. We did some fajita, pepper fajita with mushrooms for dinner and we had that for lunch leftover. We also did a roasted veg and hummus sandwich with some crisps and But that one wasn't sandwich. leftovers. No, that wasn't leftovers, that was yeah. just like, we had a bunch of veg in and we needed to use them up, so we just put them in a sandwich with some... Yes. Hummus. I think that was my favourite lunch. I think that was like, my favourite too. So you go out to a cafe, you get like a little bit of crisps on yeah. the plate. Salad, your sandwich. And it's like if you had the if you if you wanted to take it in a lunchbox as well, it's not the kind of thing that has to be made fresh. No. Like you could make it the night before or the morning of and pack it away for you to take to work and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then we also had, which wasn't again on our meal plan, but we just had everything in 
and we're in a rush. I think it, we'd come back from the like the supermarket. And we mentioned we, it in the video. Yeah, it was like nearly three o'clock. We hadn't had lunch, and yeah, we were just like, what can we do? So we had beans on toast, which yeah. Can't go wrong with that, can you? Can't go wrong with beans on toast. And we tried to mix up our sort of like protein intake. We try and have a good like source of protein with every meal. Sometimes mm. that doesn't happen. We kind of like mix it up. So if we've had some sort of chickpea at lunch, we'll try and have like a tofu at dinner, or we have chia seeds and breakfast. Mm -hmm. We try to like variety, mm -hmm. Vari <laughs> we variety it up. We don't track our like macronutrients or anything like that. We just kind of try and eat in a semi-intuitive sort of way. So we kind of have, have an understanding of what we know we need personally. Yeah, and what makes us feel good. Like you exactly. can usually tell if something's lacking or you've eaten yeah. too much of something that isn't right for your body or yeah. and we all do it like like if you listen to yourself if you feel tired then it might be not drinking enough water or not eating enough protein and stuff yeah. like that. But we do we kinda of keep a track on the recipes that we cook, we know what has protein and what doesn't and we try and get a variety of yeah. protein. Yeah, I think so. since since we turned vegan, obviously at the beginning, we really needed to be quite conscious about getting the protein and mm. that kind of opens up that door to all different kinds of nutrients and like where you're getting mm. what mm. from. So at that point we got like a basic understanding of what ingredients had like we're yeah, strong in like certain edamame things. and broccoli, high in protein. Yeah, right? exactly. Um, yeah, we're not nutritionists. We're no, not. We not, don't have not any expectation. We just. I can eat write you a like. handwritten note that says I'm a nutritionist, yeah. but it wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we just like what we like. We eat what we eat, and we try and be healthy. But healthy for us is all about balance and doing what's right for us on each individual day, and that is yeah. different every day. And yeah. snacking if you need snacks. Yeah, we snacks love snacks. Snack. You are a massive snacker. You need I'm a that snack. constantly. I'm a snack man. Be 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 <laughs> dinner. Best meal of the day. Yeah. We are big into our dinners. <laughs> I am a big old dinner boy. Who isn't though? I mean, like, breakfast no, people. Breakfast you people. literally just said you, you're a breakfast person, a lunch I'm person, a snack man. A snack man and a dinner. <laughs> I just love eating. So, dinners, we had some wicked dinners. We had some really good ones. I think, um, I'm trying to remember what we had. We had the chickpea curry. We had like a version of aglio e olio where we added some. Um, what did we add? Aubergine. Aubergine courgette. and courgette. Kind of inspired by, um, I don't know if anyone's watched the Stanley Tucci series where he goes around Italy, it's on BBC. It's a good, calming um, watch. It's it. great, and there was an episode, I think it was in the Amalfi Coast, where he cooks and tries from a restaurant one of his favourite ever yeah. recipes ever. And it's very simple, it's just courgette with um, garlic and spaghetti and a few other things. But it's a really, really simple recipe. So we were kind of inspired by that mm. and combined it with the aglio e olio. Oleo with the courgettes and the aubergines. Mm -hmm. We had our fajitas, which were wicked, and the chickpea curry, which turned out really good. Yeah. And there is a full recipe video for that. Yeah. So uh, again, don't go off and watch that right now. Go and watch that afterwards. You loved that dinner. That was good. Yes. One pound per portion. Yeah. Was that recipe? Cracking. It's a creamy peanut butter chickpea sweet potato curry. <laughs>
Um, last but absolutely not least is the snacks. Um, I'm a snack man. <laughs> we don't really like plan out our snacks, obviously. We just buy a bunch of things that we know we'll eat throughout the week. And it's usually some multigrain rice cakes, which we have with various mm. things. Often peanut butter and marmite mixed together, sometimes yeah. just peanut butter. Um, sometimes just marmite. Sometimes marmite, sometimes. I tell you, I've been going really rogue with my rice cakes recently. You want to hear what I have on it? Mango chutney. No, you yeah, don't. Know. It's really good. It's like a mango You're chutney. You're a fridge yeah. Uber. <laughs> you literally go around the empty jars and be like, oh, well, I'll have that on a rice cake. Yeah. So, we also bought a bag of crisps. Um, we got some rich salted crisps from Aldi, and they were actually really Crinkle cut. Like rich cut or crisp? Oh, they don't think, no? Yeah, but what do you call it? Well, obviously, rich cut. That's what you just said. <laughs> Uh, we had that with some hummus. We got the XXL hummus. Um, it wasn't really that much bigger than a normal tub. I think they just got carried away. The Marking the bunch. They were like XXL. Like it's literally like that much taller <laughs> than a normal one. And then we got a bag of pears, which were very average and flowery. So I... you had a really flowery one. I had some quite nice ones at the lunch. Okay. Um, and then what else did we have as a snack? Banana bread. Oh yeah, we had our banana bread with bacon. Oh yeah, Bake Off snacks. Yeah, got we got your classic vegan chocolate, didn't we? Yes, the Al Aldi do <laughs> Aldi do a like three specific vegan chocolate bars. They do a blonde, which is like a white chocolate. Mm. The classic, which is a milk chocolate, and then they do a dark. But they do loads of dark chocolate mm. um, that isn't vegan. It's just so that is everything that we I. Charlie ate in a week, well that week specifically. Um, we really hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to link all the recipes down below um, mm -hmm. in the description so you can make them at home. And then there's also the meal plan and the shopping list if you fancy following it yeah. next week. We'll just try and view them seeing a bit more in detail um, our plan for eating. Yep. So yeah, let us know in the comments. Just before we leave, what was your number one recipe for the whole week of eating? Your favourite thing that you ate all week? Oh, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe the fajitas. Interesting, interesting. I would have to go with the chickpea curry. That was my yeah. favourite. I mean, they were all equally good. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Um, let us know down in the comments below what you thought, if you liked any of these recipes, if you want us to make more of these, what we eat in a week. Um, mm -hmm. We really enjoyed making it, so mm -hmm. let us know. And yeah, we will see you in our next video. Bye.